So hello everyone uh, who have attended this uh, conference. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. So my name is uh, Joab Odiambo. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a lecturer and also a director of uh, QFC, what we call the Quantum Financial Corporation, which is more of a, a hedge fund. So today I will be presenting for you a paper which uh, uh, I did in my uh, PhD uh, publication on the uh, on modeling of uh, systematic uh, uh, mortality risk and also longevity risk. And uh, these uh, risks are very important, especially when it comes to the actual world. And that's why as uh, actuaries or students uh, as to uh, professionals who work in the actual world, it is important for us to understand the importance of this so that whenever we are making uh, provisions, we understand uh, the dynamics in which we operate. So if I can take you through my slides, uh, uh, the paper, I would like to take note of my two supervisors, which is Professor Philip Gare and Professor Patrick Wehle all from the University of Nairobi. So the title of my paper is what we call the Improving the Position of the Forecasted Systematic Longevity Risk by Integration of a Concept, what we call the Bullman Credibility Approach. So systematic risk is, uh, is risk that affect the market, just the uh, risk of death. And the risk of death are very important in actuarial field, especially when it comes to modeling of uh, and pricing of what we call uh, annuities and uh, assurances, which are offered by mostly insurance companies. So if I can go to the presentation outline, I look at uh, the abstract, then look at the background of the study, then I also look at some methodology and of course, data analysis and results and uh, recommendations. So an abstract, in our abstract, we know Kenya as a developing country is faced with uh, one problem of data limitation. And uh, that makes it difficult to model and project systematic longevity uh, mortality risk. So that's why you find most uh, insurance company have to borrow mostly from developed or semi-developed countries like here in Africa, most of Africa. Look at uh, the pricing, they mostly use such kind of debt. And that brings a huge, because of the dynamics of those countries in Kenya are totally different in terms of mortality risk or uh, death rates. So the concept of uh, Bullman credibility approach is uh, it's a way that can be used to improve the modeling and uh, projection in cases where there's data limitation. So this uh, paper that I'm presenting to you uses Bullman credibility approach uh, as a way of improving the position of some of the classical or uh, traditional mortality models that we've been using. So, uh, so if you go, the background of the uh, study this uh, will help insurance, Kenyan insurance companies uh, to make the correct uh, precision in terms of uh, evaluation of annuities and assurances. Because if they can able to do correct pricing of this life assurance product, whether annuities or assurances, then uh, there will be lower risk of uh, loss in terms of the financial loss due to over, over pricing or uh, pricing of the uh, the mortality risk, which subsequently affect uh, the value of the assurances or annuities. And this is very important because of the, what we call the, the, the model errors that are associated with uh, uh, such kind of uh, modeling. So of course, uh, I have given a, a brief, uh, what we call a basic uh, model of what we call the Bullman credibility. And the concept of uh, credibility theory, it enables us to use information from developed countries at the same time in, 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 in terms of uh, the data availability and also information from uh, developing countries like Kenya, 
which has got limited data availability. And that's why we are having what we call the expa, which is a sample mean. In our case, we're using Kenya as a sample mean, while the mu is a population mean where we're using uh, a country which has more has more data points, like for example, US or South Africa, etc. So we, if you're able to calculate this, then we can able to get the mean and uh, come up with what we call the credibility, Bullman credibility estimate C, estimate C, which where Z gives us the level of recreditivity, meaning if we able to have, if you have more data, then you are giving X bar uh, more of uh, weight as opposed to uh, the population mean. So some of the mortality, the classical uh, mortality models, the one is what we call the leaf cutter. Of course, it's defined as uh, alpha X plus uh, beta X plus uh, KT. Where alpha, this is the average uh, population profile for the mortality. Uh, KT tracks the mortality changes and uh, BX, uh, how much each group changes with changes in uh, uh, KT. So this is a classical uh, mortality or systematic mortality model. Uh, another classical systematic uh, mortality model is uh, what we call the CBD model which is defined as the logit of QX, it is a probability of death, uh, where it gives you K1, T, and K2, T. Then we have got X minus X bar plus the error term. The error term is just to take care of the randomness, randomness associated. So another uh, mortality model is what we call the LR model. It also gives you the KT and K1, uh, KT1, and of course, the error term. Now, these three models is what I chose to use it and try to model the systematic longevity risk in Kenya, especially when we have got limitation of data. Remember, the first uh, mortality table was uh, done in 2010. Since then, we haven't improved it much, yet we're still using it to do our evaluation. That's why most insurance companies would rather go and import data from South Africa and probably use some scale factor and uh, try to, so that they can able to fit in the Kenyan population. So the idea here is to use this and try to use the concept of uh, Bullman credibility to try to improve the credit worthiness or worthiness of the Kenyan data when it comes to modeling of uh, uh, male and female uh, uh, systematic uh, mortality risk. So when I, I fit that Kenyan into, into the model, I was able to get some graphs here where we have the Kenyan mortality, uh, male mortality evolution and the female mortality evolution. And it shows very well how uh, mortality is high. It starts at high at young age, then it goes, then it's, it, it goes, then it starts to decrease. Similarly for female, you can able to see where the mortality starts, it stabilizes at the age of 20, it's so low then it starts to grow. So with all that, we can able to see that if an insurance company is doing valuation at time, uh, at age of, let's say 25, and then you can see that uh, the mortality rates are steep at that point as opposed to at age at ages which uh, it stabilizes, so so those three models, which the lead cutter model, I can say this model A, and of course CBD is model B, and uh, LR is model C. I was able to use them where from the baseline uh, Kenyan uh, life table of 2010, I was able to project for 2020 and 2030. And using some strategies, I was able to calculate the values of annuities and assurances using our model. I was able to calculate the values of annuity assets. And it gives that by, if we can see that by incorporation of the Bullman credibility approach, we can see that we are improving, we are improving the value that is in the bracket it's the one that uh, under the Bullman credibility approach and the one that is 
outside the bracket is the one without incorporation of Bullman credibility approach. So you can see when it comes to modeling of IGTs and assurances, you can able to see that incorporation of Bullman credibility approach improves the precision, meaning that we can able to be a much precise and uh, as opposed to uh, when we don't use the Bullman credibility approach, as you can uh, see there. So similarly, the model and the, uh, the similarly, when we look at the different models, A, B, and C, and other D, under the, the different kind of strategy, and we able to calculate the reduction ratio of the two, we can able to see on how these three models behaves and probably make a choice depending on the population characteristics on the Kenyan mortality life table. Uh, we can able to make among these three, which one best fits uh, to model the Kenyan population. So from here, we can able to see that uh, among these th mo three models, you can see for men and female, number one, what is clear here that uh, uh, males are likely to pay more when it comes to modeling of this uh, as opposed to the female. Also, we get the reduction uh, ratio, which is very, very important. Uh, so from the reduction ratio, we can able to see that uh, the model improves. And among these three models, which one is best is A. And other EW strategy, we can see is A is still a better model. And, uh, and as, as opposed to uh, the other models. So from here, we can able to come up with some recommendations and conclusions about ourselves. And some of the conclusions we've come up with is as follows. Uh, when we incorporate uh, Bullman credibility into these strategies, we can able to get better performance in terms of forecasting from the lower rates of the, the map, the mean absolute uh, percentage error, and of course ERR and the mean square error. Thus, uh, we can able to reduce the valuation errors commonly experienced when it comes to valuation process of uh, life assurance products. Of course, the EW strategies, uh, strategy uh, sometimes comes with two variant properties, uh, which of course uh, helps in improving the use of computation of, of uh, Bullman credibility estimate. Uh, when when, con when uh, uh, compared to the EM strategy uh, of computing an invariant uh, Bullman est credibility estimate or factor that produces generally the absolute uh, uh, percentage error and of course the mean square, uh, the mean square error as opposed to the EW. So ideally, this is Charles results have shown us that uh, life assurance and IGTs uh, can be uh, can be valued more accurately when we use uh, this approach uh, compared to just taking uh, a classical mortality model that is used in the countries with more data availability and the, because of the problem of uh, Kenya and where we, in developing countries such as Kenya, where we have problems of uh, data availability. Of course, uh, this uh, presentation, it has more mathematical uh, the proofs in on top of it, which I think uh, it has been accepted by the El Savior. So I think in the near future, it's going to be up, uh, uploaded so that guys who want to see the full mathematical workings behind it can able to to, to look at it, uh, but it, it is more of a mathematical derivation. Uh, so what I presented here is more of just uh, conclusions and what we found out from this, uh, uh, our study. So uh, I think uh, uh, that's it. So what I would recommend is most probably that uh, the regulators like IRA can be able to take this opportunity to see on how the insurance companies can able to use Kenyan available data as opposed to using uh, important uh, data which sometimes make it hard uh, 
to value these annuities and insurances. And uh, sometimes we can make the price overprice them, uh, make it.